Good evening. Good evening. Today, today I want to continue on my theme of uh, of the Lord's faithfulness, even in affliction, and in our commitment that we need to make in faith of His goodness, even though he allows us to suffer affliction. And uh, another favorite passage of mine out of Lamentations, you know, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 15 through, I think, 21. But I'm going to start here because it, it just gives you a full picture. It says, He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunk with wormwood. He has broken my teeth with gravel stones. He has covered me with ashes. And you have removed my soul far off from peace. I have forgotten prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall. My soul has them still in remembrance and is humbled within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. It is because of the Lord's great mercy that we are not consumed, because his compassions do not fail. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. And I just love how Jeremiah goes from, and, and, and even this is prophetically speaking about um, Jerusalem. And uh, just all the misery that came upon her. And this is almost speaking from her perspective as um, the city that came under judgment from God and rebelled against him. And he brought all this evil upon her. And, and it's, it's, it's like we're hearing the perspective of Jerusalem. Um, and, you know... God brought all this evil upon them, like famine and wars and and <laughs> and countless things that we can see. Women were eating their children, um, madness, you know, but all because they continued to reject God. And every time He would bring evil upon them, it was to get them to repent, but they wouldn't. And they'd harden their hearts. So then he'd bring more evil, worse judgment on them. And he just the judgment just kept getting worse and worse. In hope that they would turn. But they continually refused. Until the point that they were completely destroyed. But even at this point. Where you say, my strength and my hope has perished from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my misery. My soul has them still in memories, and I am humbled. But this I recall to mind, and therefore I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, because his compassions do not fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And it's, it's, it's like, even though God brought all these judgments on Jerusalem, and did all these things to Israel, there was always a, a, like a light or a seed. You know what I mean? They weren't overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah where there was no one left. You know what I mean? There was still hope for them. There was still some of them that were alive. And, it, and every day it was a new chance for God's mercy because there was still a remnant. There was still life. And light it was not completely snuffed out and it's the same with us like we're still here you know whatever God's brought us through whatever affliction or judgment maybe that we've incurred upon ourselves because we've sown to our flesh no matter what it is he's spared our lives from death he hasn't let us go down to hell we're still alive you know what I mean? Um, and that's amazing. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I'll be honest, there's there's plenty of people in this world that I see, that I've known, that have died away from the Lord. And 
I don't know why I'm any different. You know what I mean? Um, my parents, you know, my mom praying for me, just whatever, raised in a Christian home. Uh, just God's mercy, you know, on Israel, you know, because I was born an Israelite in a sense because I was born into a Christian family. And this is just something that we shouldn't neglect and we should be grateful for. And just to have faith, it's a big deal. And his mercies are new every morning, you know. His faithfulness is great. His compassions do not fail. He's kept us alive because we might have all these things in, in our minds, in our memory of all the judgment and all the evil that we've experienced. But we should know it's because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions do not fail. If it wasn't for the Lord's mercy, we would have been consumed. If it wasn't for his compassion, we'd be in hell. 